Welcome to my fourth episode of the journey on my Etsy shop to $10,000 in profit by end of 2023 by selling digital products. Make sure to watch this whole video because I am transparent what have I done on my Etsy shop and I will also show statistics and will also show what I have learned. During those two weeks since my last episode, there was one week where I didn't do anything on my shop because I was away on a business trip with my full-time job and I didn't have time to work on the Etsy shop. However, when I got back, I started to work on the shop. So during these few weeks, I have created nine new products, bringing my total product count to 34. I have also started using Canva to create these products. I found Canva quite interesting and very useful tool, especially for creating listing photos. I find that this tool is very easy to use and I would recommend others to try as well. Now when I have learned to use Canva a little bit, when I look at my competitors, I can see that some of them definitely use Canva because there are templates and so on that are the same from Canva. Furthermore, during these two weeks, I have received six new orders, bringing my total to 24 orders. The revenue from these six orders was $37.94. The previous balance was negative $105.19. Just to remind you from episode 2, this negative number comes from my automation. I hired a freelancer to write code to automate my product creation. And this brings my year-to-date balance to negative $67.25. During these two weeks, I have spent 11 hours bringing my total hour count on this challenge to 35 hours. One of the things I found during these two weeks that I have started to use is something called Etsy GPT, Etsy Listing Optimizer with ChatGPT. So if you do not know, ChatGPT is a tool that uses artificial intelligence and uh, you are able to chat with uh, artificial intelligence ask questions to it. So there is an extension to Chrome which you can download and I would recommend to do so. And if you go to any listing, for example here I am found a random listing that sells linen. So you can see for example title generate. Uh, so you can press that and uh, you will be able to see both description and title generator and there are different keywords. So these keywords, you can see the people that view it, the people that favorite this item competition and number of sales. So this is especially good for keyword research to find keywords that are not saturated but do have sales. So you would take a look at the competition and the sales. So you would uh, go for keywords that you can see have a lot of sales but do not have a lot of competition. So for example, this would be a bad keyword and you would not pick this Thanksgiving decor but you would go for something else. Uh, that has sales. So for example, the first keyword, the third keyword and, and so on. And also this tool allows you to add new keywords. So you can add the different keywords that this listing does not include by pressing add and writing. So for example, let's, let's write table runner. You can also pick different keywords from this. So let's pick four words and you can press title generator. You would need to log in to create the title. This takes uh, several minutes and now you have different titles that you can copy or export and in the same way you can not only use it for title generation but also description generation. So you can also toggle here refer to product title, refer to details highlights, refer to current description, split into paragraphs and you can press description generator. This will also take several minutes and you will be able to see 
AI generated descriptions. A few moments later. And there you go, you can see the description it has generated. And again, you can copy or export. I would recommend not to copy paste this, but this can be a good inspiration for you both for keywords for title and the description so for seo management i would highly recommend this tool so i hope that you have enjoyed my quick update regarding my etsy challenge and journey please remember to subscribe to the channel to follow along my journey and see you guys in the next episode